In our smart homes, there is a literal never ending list of things that we can automate with some absolutely insane automations out there. But often these require hugely complex or expensive setups in order to achieve. So here is eight simple automation ideas that anyone can do with minimal equipment, even if you're just getting started with your smart home. The first automation idea is for notifications that let you know when the washing machine or dishwasher or tumble dryer is finished running so that you don't forget to empty it. <coughs> Back off. Some people like to use vibration sensors to do this. Essentially, when vibration stops on the machine, that is usually an indicator that the machine has finished, but I prefer to use a smart energy plug attached to the machine. Then when energy consumption drops below a certain threshold, we can safely assume that the machine is finished and send a notification, whether that is through a text-to-speech on your speakers, lights flashing, or a phone notification, or maybe just all three at the same time. By using a smart plug, we can actually work out what stage the washing machine is at. This does take a little bit of working out by looking at the energy consumption of your washing machine after it's ran its cycle, and then putting this information into a home assistant template. But after that, it's a fairly straightforward job of sending out notifications. I like to send out persistent notifications that repeat every 15 minutes and can't be swiped away unless you press the button to say that the washing machine has been emptied. This prevents any accidental swiping, not that I'm speaking from experience. Get the goddamn washing machine emptied right now. Here is one cookie for being a good boy. I like to do this on our washing machine, but no reason that this exact same principle can't be used on a dishwasher, tumble dryer or something similar. The next automation is for our shopping list. So I'm sure you've been here before where your significant other asks you to pick up something from the shop and you get there and completely forget what that thing was. So I set up a shopping list page on our dashboard that either of us can go in and easily add as many items as we want to. Dairy liquid. <laughs> And then using the zone functionality in Home Assistant and tracking our geolocation, which is all done locally by the way, so no cloud. And then when either of us goes to the shop, Home Assistant will send us a notification asking if we want to open our shopping list. And tapping on it takes us right into the dashboard to view the list, which is really handy and prevents me from getting shouted at when I get home. Then when you have all of the items, you can easily clear them away or archive them ready for next time. Next up, try a more gentle approach to your morning wake up by gradually brightening your bedside table lights over a 15 minute period. This is supposed to more closely replicate natural light, which the body's circadian system prefers. There are plenty of articles and studies out there about lights that follow circadian rhythm, which I'm not an expert on, but I will tell you that anecdotally, when I tried these morning wake up lights, it was a much nicer way to wake up than the sudden jolt that an alarm clock or sudden light turn on gives you. I basically create an alarm input helper in Home Assistant that means I can easily change the alarm to be run at any time without having to edit the automation. And then using the transition period that is available in Home Assistant, I can brighten the lights over a given time period. This works well and runs every morning. And if you also have smart blinds, you could do a similar thing with those too by tilting the blind gradually over a given time period to start letting in some more natural light. I was skeptical that this would make a difference before I tried it, but give this one a go and see what you think. I for one think it's actually quite a nice way to wake up. Speaking of which, after you have woken up, why not create yourself a morning announcement that when you go downstairs first thing in the morning, it reads out things like what the weather forecast for that day is, or maybe any upcoming events in your calendar for that day. Good morning. It looks like today the weather will be partly cloudy, with a temperature of 14 degrees, humidity of 71%, wind speed of 11 meters per second and a 0% chance of rain. Enjoy your day. Using an input helper in Home Assistant, I set up a morning mode entity, which basically only allows the daily announcement to be run once per day. I then combine that with a motion sensor in the kitchen, which triggers a text-to-speech announcement to be read out on the kitchen speaker. 
This announcement comes from this super simple template. Okay, not so simple, but this template basically pulls in different weather information and puts it into a readable format for Google Assistant to read out. And then once it's done reading that announcement, it will then continue on and start playing a morning playlist from Spotify. This is a great way to give you a heads up of what's happening for that day and could be expanded to include things like important headlines, upcoming events for that day or anything else you wanted really. Thank you to Sandman Clocks for sponsoring this video. The Sandman Doppler is a multifunctional smart clock with Amazon Alexa built in, allowing you to listen to music, set alarms and control your smart home. It also features six USB ports on the back to charge all of your devices and get rid of that power strip beside your bed. A USB-C upgrade is available so that you can charge three USB-A devices and three USB-C devices whenever you want. If you have the six USB ports, then you have the option to upgrade to USB-C at any time and they will mail you the transition kit. The Doppler has premium speakers that boast attributes not even other high-end speakers have and sound quality remains the same even at a high volume. Smart buttons also allow you to start Amazon routines silently so that you don't have to wake anyone else up or disturb them to control your smart home. The display is customizable in color and auto dims at night, which of course you can control through their app. You can also see the weather at a glance along with the temperature and their app sports many amazing features and is easy to use and control with so many possibilities. Home Assistant support is also coming soon, along with an API to control the Doppler locally or through the cloud. The Sandman Doppler is $199 and is available on sandmandoppler.com and Amazon in the US. Check it out with the link in the video description and enjoy 10% off your order with code SMART10. Next up, have you ever came home after being out for hours only to realize that you left your garage door or house window wide open for the whole world to just come in and help themselves to anything they want. Once again, using Home Assistant Zones and a smart contact sensor, you can send yourself notifications whenever any of your doors and windows are left open and no one is at home, using the location data inside of Home Assistant. This stops you from getting too far away from your house before realizing so that you can quickly come home and make sure to get those doors locked up. Or if your garage door is connected to Home Assistant 2 or your smart home platform, then you could remotely shut it from something like an actionable notification. You could also use this exact same principle and apply it to a fridge or freezer door if you live with someone who thinks that a freezer should be used for air conditioning for your entire house. <coughs> Sarah. The next automation is one that is pretty simple, but really useful. Flashing the LED strip on the back of my monitor red if I'm sitting at my computer and someone opens the front door. Often if I'm sitting at my desk with headphones on editing or playing a game, it's very difficult to hear if someone opens the front door and comes home. So having that visual cue on the back of my monitor is a great way to tell and stops anyone from sneaking up on me, especially when I'm deep into a horror game. This is really easy to do with a simple contact sensor on your front door and these Zigbee lights on the back of my desk and using the flash mode within Home Assistant. Once the automation has run, it will then return the light to the color it was at previously or turn the light off if it was previously off. By hooking up my computer to Home Assistant so it knows when I'm using it, I'm also able to only run this automation when I'm actually at my desk. So this one is really useful for me. Speaking of computers, I am really bad for leaving my computer on all the time when I'm not actually using it. So one automation I like to use is to automatically sleep when the computer is not in use and is idle. I do this by using a combination of a motion sensor in the office along with sensors on the computer itself that work out if you are active or not. If I'm not, then I can send a notification straight to my desktop asking if I'm actually there, which serves as more of a backup just in case I am sitting there and the sensors get it wrong. And if I don't respond to that notification within five minutes, then I can tell the computer to go to sleep. This is a good one as not only does it save power, but it also doesn't require any additional sensors or switches as the whole thing can be done in software and should work on both Windows and Mac OS. I am using that motion sensor, but that's just as an additional factor and you can get away with just doing this in software. 
Adding that extra check of sending a notification is also a nice little touch, just to make sure you're not shutting down in the middle of an edit. My final automation is another reminder, this time to let us know that the recycling and bins need putting out. When the pandemic started, our bin collection was reduced to once every three weeks, and they conveniently never have put it back up again. So it's often easy to forget which day it's actually meant to be going out. Using a custom integration from Hacks, which is really good, and the new calendar trigger in Home Assistant, we can now trigger an automation that runs the night before the bins are due to be emptied. Since ours get emptied really early in the morning, and this sends a notification to our phones, as well as a text-to-speech announcement on the house speakers. There we go, that is eight simple automation ideas that you can add to your smart home without the need for any hugely complex sensors. All of these can be done with either very inexpensive sensors and lights, or many of them don't require additional hardware at all, which is great. If you have any suggestions for any other simple yet effective automations that I haven't included here, then drop them down in the comments and share them with me and the community so we can all level up our smart home game together. If you're looking for something else to watch, then check out this video over here where we did five automation ideas that are a little more advanced than what we covered here today, but can help you take your automations to the next level and really level up your smart home. Make sure to drop this video a like and get subscribed and I will see you in the next.